Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Strategic Command. Apparently, it's going to be playing. Uh, so, you can see the diplomacy that um, USA is now at 72%. I'm really looking forward to to getting them back in the, uh, getting them into the war. Let's uh, move the sub over here. Let's start disrupting that supply line. There's also a Finnish supply line, but I only have. Yeah, I have one more sub coming up from down here. My destroyer was attacked, by the way. Nearest safe harbor is up here. So what I could do is I could move this one to London and then move the destroyer up here. And then since I only have 276 point, points for the British, I'm gonna prioritize uh, my destroyers because the um, German Navy will be mostly submarines. Uh, let's upgrade this one to anti submarine level 1. This one can upgrade, this one will reinforce. Do we have any other destroyers around here? No. Then we have the active destroyers, which we will move around up here. Nothing to see. Move this one up this way. And this way. Nothing there either. Although we have these destroyers, we're going to send them back this way. And is that all my destroyers? I think so. Now this submarine is going to head towards uh, Finland, but I would like to upgrade it as well, or reinforce it rather. Let me send it in here. And then just send the fleet up here for now yeah that's that's all my activity and then we have the headquarter where do I want to put the headquarter my British units are all over over here what is the supply here Uh, hmm. I guess I could move the Canadians down here and then get the headquarter in here. Yeah, I think that's the best solution. But can I even get the headquarter in there? I mean, if I move it here. I have to get out in a port. So I have to move the artillery away also. Okay, that's how it's going to be for now then. I'll move these guys out. Move the artillery over here. Then get the headquarter in there. And then hopefully we can reinforce this one. Up to seven. And this one cannot reinforce. Why not? Supply here is only four, five, seven. I guess I can move the uh, the Greek headquarter over here because the Greeks are all on this side. Ah, those are also those two. But not being able to reinforce, that's 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 really bad. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, switch them around then, like that, and then reinforce it next turn. 
<clears throat> so let's concentrate the aircraft. This one will reinforce, it's been upgraded. And then we'll hit the Germans over here. Let's try that again. Nothing happens. Okay, so let's just reinforce the fighters. I keep bombing these guys. Maybe even give them uh, give them a go here. Mm -hmm. And that's the situation in Greece. I've got no other reinforcements on the way right now, but I will have that soon. Let's get the destroyers down here to cover. Uh, yeah, so we're almost done with the African campaign. I'm going to send these guys back towards Benghazi right now, so they can ship out soon. The rest are going to try and take out the recon unit. Not very successful. But, nevertheless, I think we got it. Yeah. This one will reinforce. Now we're going to send the troops up this way. Yeah, we got an Italian army in there. And get the headquarter over here. Hmm, will that be out of supply then? 3210. Unless the supply comes up. I should have put it right here instead. We'll see about that. That might slow me down a little bit. Zoom out. I think we're ready to go to the Eastern Front. Let's see how much needs to be um, reinforced. This one definitely. And then further up this one. And this one. We just keep that line. And we got this one we'll need to reinforce. We got units that we can start shipping up north. There's also the German headquarter here. I can just snatch it. Three damage. Can I bomb it? The fighters might be out of range though, but let's do it anyway. Yeah, they got no air cover and that's why they lose four points. Let's get the fighters a little bit closer down here. And over there. Just for another time. And then we can move these guys through to here. These guys can move in here. Uh, I'm gonna do what I can to try and destroy that headquarter altogether. Something like that. Just come back. You don't expose your headquarters like that. The Romanian is also exposed. Oh, this is gonna hurt the Germans so much. Let's start getting the uh, entrenchment down. It's currently at level 1. Now 0. Can we get some, some of these guys in? Yep. Nice. This one is a uh, river crossing, so it's got very low odds. Uh, what about this one? Has already attacked. This one will reinforce. And get this one up here so it can operate out. Let's get this one up here so it can operate out. 
And that's pretty much the south. We can take some shots at this one. Like that. Uh, manual. Did I set it to manual? Yes. I should probably get a little bit closer, but yeah, here will be a better position. And we'll arrange that next turn. Oh, here we got the Germans on the move. Let's bring these guys forward. And then just reinforce. 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 We got 760. Let's start setting up some fortifications around here. Uh, let me just see. We need them, I would say, on three sides. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, something like this. Start working on that. Uh, this one will reinforce to max. This one can reinforce, but it's in a very bad position. These guys, unfortunately, are stuck. So we're going to lose that one. I think we need to pull them back. Then on the other hand, the Germans can just march around and attack them anyway. And if they move, they cannot reinforce. So I think, would that be a waste of 70 points? Yeah, pretty much. I think these guys are dead. But we can pull them back to here and hope that the Germans can't go around. I don't have my hopes up for that. But we'll give it a shot. Putting 70 points into them at the, uh, in that position is just wasting 70 points. That's, that's just how it is. These guys are still there. Let's see, supply eight, seven. Yeah, he's got plenty of supply. Let's take this town. No problem with Murmansk. Uh, I think that's it. Very, very thin, vulnerable line still here in the center. But I'm ready to push units up from the south next turn and hopefully hang on this guy is only five strength no. yeah and hopefully I will get oh I will get three more cores and they will all be distributed up here somewhere this one is on manual let's just take a look at that One, two, three, four, five, six. This one can only go six. One, two, three. Now oh, it has moved. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. A little bit of optimization there. Now we got 706 points to spend as the Soviets. That's a lot of points. Let me just check the research. We are working on infantry weapons. Level 2. It's very slow though. Um, everything is really in bad condition here. No, let's just crunch out some more armies, maybe a headquarter would be useful but th those uh, amount of units coming out, I will need more headquarters it will cost 370 though, so that's that's pretty expensive but I'm gonna need one so now that I have a lot of points, let's 
use that situation to build uh, one headquarter and maybe another army yeah, let's get an army as well this winter is gonna be really good the US the British British got no points left who's the commander in Greece by the way oh, that's not God rating 5 I might want to change that. What about the Soviets? But in read rating 5, he needs to be changed. Uh, can I do that now? Now, what about this one? This is uh, Sukov rating 9, so he's fine. And then up here, Timoshenko is level 6. We can get a level 7. How much would that cost? Rokosovsky? 90 points. What about this guy? Oh, this one is better. So go to five from five to seven. Let's put Rogosovsky up there. All right, research for the U.S. Infantry weapons level two definitely. And industrial technology. And that's it. Let's go, uh, let's see, diplomacy 72. All right, let's take the axis turn. Red Army headquarters, the British have proposed to join them in invading Persia to overthrow the pro axis Shah. The plan is that we then divide the country between us, with the British having the oil field at Maidan of Nuftan and the port of Bandar Bashira. Mash. Mashar. The invasion would cost 100 points to be divided equally between both countries. Would you like to approve the British plan to invade Persia and divide the country? Yes, I think we're going to do that. For 50 points. UK develops infantry weapons level 2. That's the first one. And industrial tech level 2 as well. USA advanced tanks level 1. And ground weapons level 1. Also production technology level 3. We're still funding the SOE for the British. But no points discounted for covenants. But uh, the Soviets are paying for that now with the minus 50. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, 500 only. So that's the new situation. But I have a lot of units coming in, so... And I don't mind losing ground in, in the Soviet Union. That's, that's kind of uh, expected, really. As long as it's not too fast. Alright, they shifted a garrison up there very quickly. The Finns. And they're also going to lose Rommel in Africa, so that's two headquarters they're going to lose, the Germans. That's uh, that's significant. <clears throat> German bombers should be effective. Yep, one damage. Hope you guys can see. Otherwise, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. The Soviet fighters are okay. At level one, taking three damage though. Four total. And the German aircraft takes no damage at all. This core is done, it's finished. Should have put it in the town instead of the garrison. A 
Hopefully they will spend some effort taking it out and then the army can survive. Looks like the Germans are going to get Orsha straight off. And then my headquarter will be in danger. Looks like they're running out of steam. The German attack, look at that. 7-5. Oh, this arm is pretty good. The German armor is uh, is not as strong anymore. Why are they not reinforcing them? Shifting the attack to Polotsk. Hopefully it will stop. Nope. Got one more. Yeah, that's it. Attack that core again, one more damage. And you make it stop. No. Oh, one left. Oh, that's it, it's still there. <laughs> the Germans have had almost been able to break through my line several times, but so far I haven't succeeded. Except for the one in Lithuania. That's the only breakthrough. Looks like Vinitsa is gonna hold again. Some of those Hungarians armies are really good. Yeah, Vinitsa's gonna hold. Sidomir area. It's gonna hold as well. The German uh, units are getting tired. It looks like the Germans are gonna waste their time Taking out that core, that means my army in the back will survive and upgrade or reinforce. Still trying to take Odessa. And I'm almost in a position to start pushing forward here in the south. Okay. They can uh, do that. <laughs> Germans have reached Vitebsk. I'm well defended there. Okay, the Allies, uh, the Axis have changed uh, tactic. They're now attacking my ships. Oh, that's bad. One more. No! The British armor's gone. Two attacks and it's gone. Did not expect that at all. Just as the headquarter arrives. Oh, this is just madness. The whole Greek line is gonna fall apart. How did that happen? River crossing and everything. So that means I got no armor left for the British. I haven't built anything. Porsche is still holding out.
and they're headed to Riga. That means I need I need new units up here. I'm gonna get those, so I guess we can Finn secures the Persian oil field at Maiden Ainuftin. But Iraq is still there. That was a bad turn with the, the uh, British tanks getting wiped out like that. 7th Armored is gone. Moscow caught, destroyed. They lost 25 points. Here we go, I got the three, and they're all gonna go up here. Because we gotta make a new line. Whew. And this time I don't have that many more points to, uh, to spend. Luckily the summer is about to be over, and when we get the rain, the German attack will bog down, and they have gotten, gotten very, very little gain in the south, almost nothing, and very little here in the center. The Finns are not moving at all. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you around next time. Take care. Bye-bye.